Okay, so I've uh, got my uh, temporary ramp system set up here and uh, we're gonna see if uh, all that math learning when I was youngster paid off here. Okay, that took a little bit longer than lifting them up by hand, but it worked and one lot easier than, uh, than I have been doing. So yeah, I've still got to go about two, possibly three more. So that system is going to work really good for me. Uh, my blocks were a bit short, which I thought would happen. So, but it pulled up pretty easy once I got it part way up. So I'm going to go to the front now. I'm just going to let this sit. I'm going to go to the front and we're going to start calculating how I'm going to get the logs to go over the windows in the doorway. Okay, so what I'm going to, uh, or trying to do at the moment is figure out how I can best find logs that are the right size to uh, allow me to hopefully come over the top of this window uh, without trimming it. If I, if I have to, I will, but we'll try to avoid that and it'll get chinked like the rest of the logs. And then allow me enough space for a smaller log that will fit there and then hopefully the top sill log that will go over the door will also go without trimming. So yeah, I'll do my best, but I may end up having to add them out flat. So we'll see where that goes.
So <laughs> I don't know whether it was good luck or good management, but um, when one doesn't use dimensional lumber uh, for my corners to turn out as good as they did, I'm pretty pleased. Uh, about three quarters of an inch uh, from corner to corner I'm out, which is pretty, I'm really happy with that. I was also able to get the top logs over the windows, uh, the three windows and the door, and I only had to do uh, some flattening on one. So that all worked out well. So the next step is to put in my cross beams uh, on the two long walls, and that'll lock the whole thing together. And then we're off to the roof. So I finished the uh, last notch for my cross members in the cabin. And the reason we're putting a, we're using a dovetail notch here, rather than just straight mortise and tenon notch that we use in the floor joists. The reason for that is the geometry of the house, the roof line wants to essentially, with its load bearing, push the walls out. And that's exaggerated quite a bit with a log cabin. So by putting a dovetail notch in, in the corresponding wall on the other side, Essentially, we're locking that together, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six members that I'm putting in. So I've got uh, one notch to cut in the top sill log, and we'll drive home the last uh, crossbeam.
Okay, that's the last cut. So I can hew the, um, the front log wall the same as I've done the back one. So the reason um, we have to flatten this log, that we haven't had to do a lot of hewing other than our floor joists, the reason I have to flatten it is this, this will be the um, reference point for my roof rafters. They'll bear their weight right on this outside edge of these logs. And they'll get a small notch put in those that will um, be equivalent to the angle or the pitch of the roof. And I can't do those notches now because I'm really don't know what pitch I'm going to end up with. The logs are going to dictate that more than my desire. So I'm going to uh, get down off of here, get my other tools there. I'm going to get an axe. I'm going to chip out this, rough it out, and then I'll finish it up with the chisel and the mallet.